In other news now, in India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is all set for a scheduled landing on August 23rd. And with this, uh, it will aim to become the fourth nation to achieve this milestone. In the latest, ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 has completed the orbit circularization. And this maneuver marks a pivotal step towards the mission's ultimate goal, which is a soft landing on the lunar surface. The latest mission comes four years after Chandrayaan-2, which failed to achieve the desired soft landing in 2019. Meanwhile, both New Delhi and Moscow are in a historic space race to reach the lunar south pole first. Russia's Lunar 25 has sent back first pictures already of the moon from space. Uh, now, let's tell you more about the fourth maneuver circularization, which uh, has just been completed a few hours ago. Uh, ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 is engaged in a series of orbit maneuvers, constantly reducing distance from the moon. And Chandrayaan-3's fourth orbit circularization is helping move the spacecraft's engine in a way of making its path more round or circular. Critical maneuver aims to lower the orbit to 100 kilometers above the moon's surface, uh, which will only act as a pivotal step in Chandrayaan-3's ultimate goal, which is a soft landing, as we said. Now, let's also tell you what is expected to happen next. The spacecraft will now transition to the next phase of Chandrayaan-3 mission, which is the separation of the lander from the propulsion module. The propulsion module will continue its orbit around the moon. Meanwhile, the lander will undergo a de-boost process, which involves a series of intricate braking maneuvers. The maneuvers of Chandrayaan-3 are designed to gradually slow down the lander and position for a soft landing on the surface. And for more on what this means and the challenges ahead of that soft landing, Siddharth MP sent us the details. In exactly a week from now, India's third lunar spacecraft, Chandrayaan-3, will be attempting its crucial lunar landing. Lunar landing is a very sophisticated process that only three nations have succeeded in so far. This is the erstwhile Soviet Union, the US and China. Let's remember that lunar soft landing involves slowing down a spacecraft from several kilometers per second velocity to bringing it down to one meter per second and landing it safely on the lunar surface at a targeted spot. There are various factors that make lunar landing extremely challenging. One of them is the fact that on the south pole or near the south pole of the moon where Chandrayaan-3 is to land, there are tall mountains, there are craters and there are very uneven surfaces. So in this particular location, Chandrayaan-3 will have to autonomously find itself an appropriate landing spot. In addition to this, all of this has to be performed autonomously because there won't be adequate time to send commands for each of this from Earth and control each move of the spacecraft. Let's also remember that while the landing happens, the craft will have to land in such a way that it doesn't kick up lunar dust which can eventually cover its sonar, solar panel and stop the spacecraft from generating solar power. These are some of the factors that have to be considered for a lunar soft landing. ISRO of course is maintaining cautious optimism this time around given that they've learned adequate lessons from what happened to Chandrayaan 2 and also the fact that ISRO has conducted hundreds of tests on its spacecraft for two years and all of these simulations they believe will help in a successful lunar soft landing on the 23rd of August. From Chennai, Siddhartha MP, Beyond World is One.